everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Uh, we have a full table today. I want to introduce myself as the host, Jamie. We have our angel here, Hipster Curtis. Melissa's making her triumphant return. We have our daughter, Delaney, and the happy hunter, and Eddie. And today, Curtis, I want you to explain what's going on. Why is everybody here? What? Why do we have so many bottles on? We have so many bottles on because we're going to talk about the regions of Scotland. Regions of Scotland. So there's five regions of Scotland. Well, actually, technically, the Scottish Whiskey Association in 2009 has decided there's only three regions. These are the five classical regions. Oh. Okay. And I've chosen scotches, I hope, that sort of represent the regions okay. in the way they taste. So hopefully there'll be a lot of distinction. Okay. Space side. Yep. Northeast part of Scotland. Let me get start, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Northeast uh, part of uh, Scotland. I, I picked a long more because I actually just really like it. And it is a space side whiskey and it's quite tasty. And it had a pretty box. So, what, what kind of whiskey is it? It's a single malt? It is a single malt. Maybe we should talk about that. Yeah, you start yeah let's do that. a tiny bit because we've got a lot to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what makes a scotch a scotch? Uh, it has to be made in Scotland. Okay. That's good, yeah. That's good. It has to be made in Scotland. What else? Uh, it has to be made in Scotland. Okay. <laughs> it has to be in the barrel for at least three years. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Three years. Three years it has to be in the barrel. It's usually almost always a single malt, and the malt is almost always barley. Actually, excuse me. It has to be distilled in Scotland. And uh, there can be no extra ingredients in it whatsoever except for uh, caramel for mm -hmm. coloring and water. Other than that, it can only be the alcohol. Oh, okay. and it also has to be over 40% alcohol. Okay. Otherwise, it doesn't meet the criteria. Okay. Okay? So, let them turn out to see what you smell. I like the smell of that. Yeah, this is really good. Now, Speyside really is part of, geographically, it seems to be part of the Highland region. Mm. But there's so many distilleries in this area. And the reason is because the clean, fresh, pure water was there. And that's where they built the distilleries for the water. From the springs and stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? You made a noise. Mm. You made me curious what you <laughs> what you thought. I don't know. Is this your first scotch? Uh, no. She was at the whiskey not. tasting. Oh, room, that's so she right. had some milk. Okay. I don't really know. I should know this. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I find it I find it very sweet. And I find it very smooth. Uh, the burn is not really that bad going down, um, it, but it's a, it's, it's a very quick finish. <laughs> Unfortunately, we got a lot to do, yeah, and so we can't sit and just enjoy, enjoy like it. we right. do, like our normal shows. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and, uh, if you had any other thoughts. Well, I agree with it's Eddie. So it dissipates pretty it quickly. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> it, it is. It, it, it is. Uh, oh, so you do like it like Yeah, it. that was actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually yeah. pretty good. I chose the Oban. All bond. And I believe it's the 14, yeah, isn't this it? Yes, it's the 14. Yeah, the 14. This is really good. And I chose that it's to really represent good. Highland. I could have chose Glenmorangie, which we all love. We all yeah. love Glenmorangie okay. here. Or I could have chose Highland Park. But the interesting thing about the Highland region is the islands, except for Islay, are part of that region. So even though uh, Gerard... Isle of Jura right. is 250 miles away. <laughs> Give it five minutes. <laughs> it's considered part of that region. So uh, all the Isle whiskeys, so Highland Park is on an island, mm -hmm. Jura is on an island, mm -hmm. they're all considered part of the Highland area. Mm -hmm. So this would be the Highland roll it region. Your tongue a little bit. You gotta roll it on your tongue. Smoky? Mm. Just a tad? Yep. No. Not it's, overly. Yeah, it's a little bit peaty. Yeah. And I've actually learned to like peat. It was something I really actually hated. <laughs> and now it's, I'm actually coming around and I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm actually uh, catering up to it. And, no burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get no burn out yeah, of this. Less, yeah, no burn. No burn at all. Just a lot of flavor. Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, that was pretty good. I do like that one. I yeah. do. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Curtis, we're on to... The, this too. is on... Uh, these two I've never had. The Oban I've had. I've had Lefroy. You haven't had that one. I have not had that one. And I don't remember this one either. No, you've not okay. had that one. So this is all pretty new to me. Okay, okay. That one, so yeah, I've never had that one. 
Okay. How do you pronounce that? Okay. <laughs> I'll give it a shot here. Oh, wow. Oh, it boy. is pronounced Achentoshan. Achentoshan, I believe. Achentoshan. Achentoshan. Okay. Okay, so Lowland is the closest to England, and it, although most of the distilleries are sort of on the northern border in the Highland area, but there are some in the Lowland area. Um, they have always been known for triple distilling their whiskeys. Ooh. Okay. Um, this is the triple only uh, Lowland whiskey that is still triple distilled, and that's why I chose it. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> see, see the difference in the triple <laughs> distilling. <laughs> for that oh. and then they uh they stopped doing it it's, it's a more expensive process yeah and this is the only distillery that i know of it still does the triple wow, distil Eddie. Distil Eddie give her some. somebody clap for eddie <laughs> <laughs> now i know we're going awful fast but <clears throat> to the tongue we're supposed to have zest cherry blossom brioche and ginger did i say that correctly yeah i think so and ginger okay i'm not a big fan of ginger so we'll see how well, this goes. Oh, I think you will think be when you taste good. this. Good. Yeah. I don't know if uh, when they say zest on the box, on the tongue, if it's supposed to make the tip of your tongue tingle. That's what mine's doing. Mine yeah. is tingling. I'm going numb over here. Yeah. Is this from Colombia? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody yeah. clap Freddy. It, it is right <laughs> So do you like ginger in that? You know, tasting it? I, I really am. I, uh, you know, maybe that's what's uh, making my tongue mm -hmm. tingle mm -hmm. a little. I think you need to be able to drink it in order to pronounce the name. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's the, the tingle of the tongue. Yeah. Kind of Why don't you give it a whirl? The palate. Give it a whirl there? Mm-hmm. Akintoshin. That's good. Akintoshin? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Is that your Other favorite three? so far? So far, yes. Really? Wow, it? She just it's likes really that burn. <laughs> okay, so the next two regions <laughs> giggle, giggle. are Isley. And Campbellton. Now, Campbellton was um, like considered the world whiskey capital in the 19th century. Mm. And then, for some reason, they went into decline. That's not Campbellton. It's not. Oh, we're doing that. Oh, we're skipping. Yeah, we're, we're skipping. We're skipping, we're we're skipping oh, one? Yeah. We're so skipping he, one? He, he plays by his own rules. Yeah. He does. So, we're going the Highland style. Campbellton. Skip and run. Campbellton. And, and this is. Uh, Springbank, and I think there's only three or four distilleries left, and two of them are owned by the people who own Springbank, and they're both really good distilleries. Oh, shit. But this is definitely. Don't you want to read it? Oh, there's nothing on there, is it? Nope. No. Okay, okay. this Springbank single malt whiskey is free of artificial coloring, as it is not chilled filtered. Uh, this is, the, this will cause a slight natural haze to form uh, when it is cold, but this will just appear when the temperature returns to normal. Is, Isley is an island and it has a lot of really great whiskeys and they're known for their salty, peaty, over-the-top smoky. Now there's a few that aren't that break the rules. And the other thing is, is the rules are changing. It used to be every house would have its own distinct flavor. And now everybody is experimenting and everybody's doing different things. Just, they're following the basic rules of, of Scotch whiskey. But you can get smoky whiskeys in other regions now, where it used to be Isley was where you got it. Mm. And that, that's what this encompasses? Is no, no. Th oh, this okay. one is uh, Springbank. This is going to be more of your, more of your really true original scotch. I'll let it. I, 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 what, how's that hit you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's something <Ooh>. Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me far from the Highlands now. I can smell that. Well, this one is not known for its peatiness. I mean, now we went out of order here because the Lafroy is so peaty that Ooh. it would basically flavor anything you taste it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's okay. something that'll sit for a day. Mm. I'm not getting a whole lot of burn off of that at all. It's pretty smooth. Sweet? A little bit. There is a little after, bit of... The after is sweet. It leaves a sweet note on your tongue. There's a bit of peat to it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But it's oh, not... I smelled that right off. It's there. Mm -hmm. I Just think the last it. thing you taste is peat. It's got <laughs> yeah. some softness to it. Very smooth. And then it's just like, shh, we'll sail away. Now this Thanks. this is one of the <laughs> few that is left from the region. And the tenure is considered a universally a 
4.8 to 5 star whiskey. Consistently, every everyone just loves this whiskey. This one? Yeah. Delaney, okay. do you love it? Yeah. So out of four, <laughs> I mean, no, well, out of, out of four ones you had, where where do you rank this one? So uh, it's my least favorite. Okay. Next to the last one. Do you, you think that's okay. is that because of the smoky? Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it's the pee. Well, yeah, the next the, one should uh, really the hit you then. That's yeah. the pee. The next is Lafroig, and it is from Isley, the island of Isley, and it is a really onto itself. I mean. Uh, Lafroy uh, is just yeah. really, really, really intense. Flavors are just. And this particular bottle is Celtic I'm for friends. And we're all friends here. And we're all friends. So I thought that worked out nice. Ooh. I love that smell. You that do? burns through the nose. Yep. Yeah. So this, you sit with that really nice oh. cigar and slowly smoke Which this I cigar. failed. Are we supposed to bring those? Fail. That's fine. See, that's just There's my way. That's just my back, way right? of getting you to invite me back. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Even Burton made that. It came in at him too. <laughs> Not my favorite, but I mean, it's good. It's it, really it good. It doesn't just, have a bite. Yeah, it's just if you, you're not into pee. If you're not into pee, this is not for you. He's a nice guy, but you know, we're not into. Mm. Yeah. You know he, this. This is something that you sort of grow into. Uh, the iodine. Is that... Do you, do you taste that at all? I think I do. Yeah. I didn't realize what that was until I was tasting it. And it's, I, it that's very much a Lafroy thing. And I don't know why, if, if it's because it's so close to the coast and it's getting that little bit of salt and spray and, yeah. and that, yeah. that sea, sea taste in it. Mm -hmm. But Lafroy really does have a little bit of a taste of iodine. And it, it, it works. I didn't realize it until I was, oh, when you breathe Whoa. out through your nose afterwards, that's yeah. where I'm, I'm pulling that essence. So Curtis, we've sampled all of the five regions of Scotland, all of the distilleries that each one of them, right? And now officially there's only three. Now officially. There's only three regions, Jesus. but there's always going to be five for me. The five classics. classical. Yep, we got a whiskey, 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 whiskey. And on that one, Great Britannia wants you to take us out of here, buddy. All for one. And one, one for all. all.